Okay, folks, now I understand that there's going to be things that I do on here where I basically do attempts at things. I don't expect to be successful. I just expect to do a good attempt at things like rap, gospel. Uh, there's a lot of things I attempt to do, but don't think that I was good at this. Oh, before I get into what I was going to do originally, I got a side thing to say. Here's a good recipe for you to try. Get you some mayonnaise, some mustard, some ketchup. And you know that vinegar that you've been... Let's see. You know when you take the peppers and you can them in vinegar in glass jars? Well... That's the vinegar you're going to use for this recipe. Take the pepper vinegar, the one that you made at home, and pour that into your mayonnaise, and then into the mayonnaise and vinegar you put mustard and ketchup. If you've got this in a mayonnaise jar, like them plastic mayonnaise jars, I would suggest you use that State Fair mayonnaise because it's a lot healthier for you. Mayonnaise is good for you. So if you're on a diet, that would be a good mayonnaise to use. Take that mayonnaise, because they got plastic jars, and ketchup and mustard and the homemade vinegar that you made with peppers floating in it, and mix all that together and shake it up and use it for an all-purpose sauce. It is good. But to the original thing I was going to do, now if I don't finish this, don't get upset. It's just... When I get embarrassed or go to laughing or feel weird about something, I'll stop something. But as far as I go with this, that's the point of the whole video. One day I looked in the mirror and I looked at myself and I didn't know who I was looking at. I talked to myself and I said, who's that? They said, no, I, you know who I am. I said, no, I don't know who you are. Who are you? They said, well, you're me and I am you, so what's the world wrong with you? Every day I think about the things that I ought to do, but I never do the things that I ought to do because some things I ought to do I just don't do. It isn't bad, it isn't good, it's just something that I don't understand. I talk to you, you talk to me, we do things that we should not do, but we do them all because we think too much about ourselves. We don't think about the world today, because every time we look into the world today, we think about the things that we should do. Every time we turn around, there's things called ISIS, there's things called Ebola. I don't understand about all that mess. There's a president that don't even care about the country that he lives in. He's from somewhere else, I bet. But we don't understand why we can't get the information that we need. We don't even get it right. We don't even get it wrong. There's some people in this world that just don't understand. Well, sometimes I think that there's some people in this world that just don't give a care about the world they live in. No. They talk about the people in the world they live in, but they say that they can get it. They say they can understand it. Yeah, Joe, I know you. You were talking to me one day in the back of a car one day trying to tell me something. Hey, that wasn't made a story that I made up, but it was something that I wanted you to understand. I can make up made up stories, make you think they are real, then I have to tell you in the end. No, they're not real. I just made them up. Got a laser light looking at the ceiling with it, having some fun with it because I wanted to say that I can point it at your face and make you understand understand that wherever I point it at your face that's what I think is wrong with you if I point it at your nose what I'm saying is your nose is messed up I don't understand why I even think that way see I drink from a bottle and I drink from a cup but I drink from whatever I can find but I drink too much coffee if you ever take me to a bar better take me to one this got a lot of coffee serving there cause I don't wanna get drunk I'm a man of God I'm a man of true discipline now let me tell you folks I used to think about the world today think about the world yesterday I think that I should never think about the things that I do but if you wanna talk to me Come clean with me. Don't talk about yesterday like it was some message from a bottle genie. I said, now, there was a man and there was a little lady looking at me like they thought that I was crazy in the head. But I told them, listen, people, I just do what I do because I don't want to get nobody mad at me anyway. But they said, no, I'm already mad at you for the things that you said about the president. I said, well, I don't care because I'm going to speak my mind. And if you don't like it, that's your problem. But you got to understand there's a guide. And he's coming round the bend to say, hello, I'm a man of the land. I'm in true discipline. Got a Bible in my hand and a thought in my brain. I'm going to tell you all about it. And if you don't like it. 
That's just your fault, but I'm trying to tell you the story. See, I grew up one day in a world of love. I always did. I always had love in my family, even though my dad never loved me anyway. I still got love from my mom and my grandparents. So let me tell you, if it wasn't for my grandparents, which is my mother's parents, I wouldn't have known anything that I know about religion today. See, I go to church still, even though I know it's too far some people think for me to go to church but i go where i go because i like it there i feel like love i feel like love is there god is there people care about the people that go to that church now see if you can find love at a church you better stay there folks i don't get it there are some people who would rather gang bang than rather go to church they don't see the need in god and jesus but i do i think about it every day i think about the love i had with God, I think about the love I had with myself and with the world. I live in an apartment and I like it that way. It's a nice place to live and I recommend it. So if you ever want to know the name of where I live, you better come clean with me and I'll tell you the name of it. I'll get you the info you need to know. But I'll tell you something that my life ain't perfect, but it ain't that bad. People, let me tell you, you've been looking at me wrong. You've been thinking that I was sinning when I was, but I'm trying to do the best I can to get better in life. I never said that I was going to get perfect every day. All I said was that I was what I was, and you know what I mean. Now, I love you, and you love me. So let me tell you, before I lose my voice, that I love you people, and I've got to go right now. But if I do this again, you better listen closely to what I say. Goodbye and good night. I know that wasn't good, but at least I tried. And You know, there's a thing in this world called try something. If you don't succeed at it, then that's not the point. The point was, did you try it all? And people don't want to understand that kind of stuff. They want you to talk to them about something and expect you to do something about it. When, well, hold on, what was I supposed to do about it? I'm not supposed to do your tries. You're supposed to do your own tries. Well... I'll let you go, folks, and have a nice day. And if you live in South Georgia, it's probably raining on your head right now because it is where I live. And quite frankly, I'd like to be able to do a lot of things. But with my lifestyle, it's kind of hard to do anything outside when it rains. It gets aggravating and it gets irritating. And people, if you want to get to be with me as a friend, talk to me. Get to know me. You know, if you go to Facebook, all you got to do is look up Isaac David Brigman, and there I am. And understand that, you know, I understand that I, there's a lot of programs you can get on on the Internet that will turn around and you'll be on it for so many years. And one day, what happened? I can't get on the program no more. Or either someone's took over my info or something. It's just people that crazy in this world, and we got to pray for them because... Them hijackers, them hackers, hijackers, they just don't get it. They never did understand what they were supposed to be doing in life. They, they're too busy trying to tell you, hey, look at me, I took your info and you don't even know who I am. But they never say it directly in your face on the internet. They say it on the internet by taking your info so the act of them taking your info is their way of saying, hey, I took your mess. How do you like me now? We don't like you now, but we don't hate you in the same t at the same time. We just pray for you and hope you get your life on track and learn. There's better things out there to do than hijack people's identities because you don't know the people you're hijacking sometimes. And sometimes you do, but it don't. Do you know good because God's going to deal with you one day about it and you're going to cry. And I'm going to have to sing that song. You're going to cry, cry, cry and you'll cry alone. When everyone's forgotten and you're left all alone. You're going to cry, cry, cry. Or in this case it'll be like you try to hack some infos and you got a bunch but one day when your life is gone, you'll wish you hadn't have done all those things you did. Because when God gets a hold of you and leaves you alone, you're going to wonder why you're standing all in hell. You're going to cry, cry, cry. See there? That's what I'm saying. And yeah, I do understand it. There's a lot of times you're going to be like, you know, Help! I need somebody help! 
not just anybody, but I guess it's like, you know, they say, you know, you know, when you want something bad enough, please don't say, oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive Porsches. I must make a miss. No, because if you do all that, you just told God what he should do for you. I don't get it. Nope. And if you get into a good relationship and it don't work out, if that person was the one you really were so in love with, you'd be like, I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I know you were right. Believe in me so long. But, you know, but now if you truly love her and you truly want her to stay in your life, the best thing to say to her is, Cause you're every woman in the world to me. You're my fantasy. You're my reality. Well, that's true, but... You know... I just don't get some folks. They, they, they say they care about people, but... They've never actually said... A lot. They never said all the things they should have said because if they had of, they would have understood this world better, I think. But give them, give them time. They'll probably have to say it. Yep. Jesus, hold my hand. I need thee every hour through this pilgrim land. Protect me by thy saving power. They've never said that before because if they had of, they would have been able to say, Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. That's what they would be saying since they never said, you know, the things they are to say, they, could, they can't say all that, you know. Nope. And if you have a good, vivid imagination, when somebody asks you this question, then you can truly, much, truly say, yeah, I was there through my vivid imagination. And the big question would be, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Well, you would have to say, not only was he your Lord, but he was our Lord too. And with my vivid imagination, I'll, yes, I was there in my imagination. And it was kind of sad. But it had to happen, you know, because if it didn't happen, you know, we wouldn't be able to say, well, he's alive, he's alive. No death could not hold him. Because that is true, he is. And... You know, when you lose a family member, and it'll happen one day, you know, you have to be like this. Well, I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day. And when I saw that hearse come rolling, Lord, to carry my mother away. Oh, will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? Well, there's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. So, there you go. You got to understand it. It's going to happen one day, you know, but I just hope you all understand you got to get it straight. Mm -hmm. And the best place I've learned to find good, the uh, best thing to do to find good gospel music, I got advice. The best way to find some good gospel music is turn your radio on, turn your radio on, and listen to the music in the air. Turn your radio on. And listen to his glory shade. Turn your lights down low. 
and listen to the master of the radio. But, gotta let you go for now. God bless and good evening.